So in this example, we're going to look at the while and do while statements. Let's look at the code first. And I want you to sort of think about and predict what the code's going to do. That'll help you understand it better. So we have this initial loop where we create a variable of x equals 0. And then we have a while x is less than 3, it's going to alert x colon space plus x, x plus plus. And then we've got a variable y equals 5 with a do statement alert y colon plus y while y is less than 5. So the while statement is going to keep going. And the important thing, critical thing here, is that we're changing the value of x. We don't change the value of y. We'll get to that in a second. But here we're changing the value of x because x starts at 0. And this loop is going to keep going until x is equal to or greater than 3 because x less than 3 is what we're testing on. So when x equals 3, we're done. That one won't show up. So now we have our second variable, y. We've set it to equal to 5. And we're doing this as a do while statement. The primary difference between a while and a do while is that the do while statement will always run one time, minimum. It may not run any more than that, but we do the command before we test. So even though we're supposed to be doing this while y is less than 5, and y is currently 5, um, it's going to run once. Typically where I've seen this sort of do while statement used is when you're doing a report generation and you want the headings to print and everything to be up there so that you know that the report ran even if there aren't any values in it. So if you were creating a report for people who have owed you money for more than 90 days, hopefully there's nobody out there, but you want the report headings to run so that we know that the report ran, it worked fine, there was nobody in it. Good news. So that's the sort of place where you'd use a do while. Now let's watch it run. Now the x statements are going to go first. So we have x is 0, x is 1, x is 2. Now it should stop. It shouldn't go on to x3 because once it hits 3, it breaks the loop because x is when x is 3, it's not less than 3. So we should not see x of 3. Nope, we see y of 5. And y of 5 will only see once because it does the test after the loop. And that's where we were at with that. So that's the difference between a do and a do-while loop.